Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Jay with Epic Reset Gaming and I'm here to bring you a quick tutorial. First of all, this tutorial is for people who play on PS3 or PC with a gamepad with the new game that came out called Final Fantasy XIV Online, A Realm Reborn. They redid this game and uh, I'll give a pretty good review once I finish endgame stuff, but for right now I just want to give you a quick tutorial to help you guys get through the game a lot easier. Alright, first of all, when you play on a PC with a gamepad or a PS3, sometimes you have targeting issues. That's the first thing that we're going to attack. First of all, you want to go to your system, and you want to go to your character configuration, and you want to go to your targeting features. Now, targeting, you can have filters put on for each one, so you can check these. This is my settings, and I find it to be the best for me. But I have it that when my weapon is sheathed, I only target NPCs, party members, and NPC objects. When my weapon is drawn, I can only do enemies and aggroed enemies. So basically, whenever my weapon's out, I'm only attacking. When my weapon's in, I can do all the interaction stuff. This works for me. I don't know about you guys, but you can also use the custom filter uh, cycle, which you can like hold L1 and press a button, and it'll give you different ones. I find that I don't need those because of this, so it's up to you. Another thing to do after you set your filters is to disable the auto sheath weapon when not in battle. So I used to have mine delayed really long, but uh, it didn't work for me, so I just turned it off and that worked better. So what this does is, whenever you hit the L3 button, which is the left analog stick down, your weapon comes out, and it stays out until you put it away. Now, if you had some pretty good eyes, you could see that my hotbar changes whenever I have my weapon out. That's what we're going to get to next. Because there's a limited amount of crossbar space at the bottom, which is only L2 and R2 giving you a certain options that you can uh, use with your character, um, we're going to attack how to efficiently use that. Now, what you're looking at right now, my weapon's away. I have my interaction with the world type stuff as my main hotbar. So I have, you know, my inventory, hunting log, character, you know, I got my recommendations for my quests, things like that. Uh, emotes so I, so I can, you know, emote NPCs or other players, signs to mark things, party. I leave this one open because I like to put key items that you use during quests on this one. It makes it a lot easier than going into your inventory and using it. And then I have my, uh, modes of transportation right here. So the only other hotbar that I have when I'm not in battle is my set 8 which is just a uh, quick access to my inventory which pretty much just has you know as you can see high potions, potions, there's eye drops, blah blah you know stuff that I want quick access to when I'm not in battle. So those are the only two that show up. Now if you notice when I draw my weapon it automatically switches to set 2. And set 2, I have, you know, several buff and, you know, commands, plus my action skills. I also have it go to set 3, which has additional skills from other uh, classes, uh, like this one's from the archer, this one's from a lancer, um, you know, I just have that set like that. So I have two, as you see, I'm tapping the R1 button, and it's swapping between only set 2 and 3. And when I sheath my weapon, I go from 1 and 8. This is really, really convenient. So basically, what you're going to have to do to do this is you want to go to your character configuration, all right? And then you want to go to your hotbar settings. I share hotbar 8, which is all my inventory, between all my classes. So this, this means whatever you click in here, that hotbar is going to be shared between all of them. So if you don't want individually uh, set hotbar ones for each class that you have then you could just share hotbar one I don't because I have it to where this L2 and left d-pad changes my character to a different class so this one goes to Lancer then once I'm a Lancer I have the same stuff everywhere else but if I press this I change to a conjurer if I go from a conjurer and do the same thing again, I go to my archer. If I go to an archer and I do the same thing again, I'm back to my pug. So I just have it go in a big loop. I like this. I don't know if you want to do it. It's how I do it. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on that later. Anyway, for right now, going back to setting up the crossbar. Basically, you're in character configuration. You go down to your crossbar settings. And 
on the other side of sharing, you have cross. Basically, you want to enable customization and enable customization for weapon or when the weapon is drawn. So this is whenever your weapon is not out and this is when it's out. So when it's not out, I have hotbar 1 and 8, which is my interaction and inventory, and then 2 and 3, which are all action skills, battle related. Now, on some of my characters, I don't have anything in hotbar 3, so it won't it won't switch to it. It'll just stay in hotbar 2. This is perfect for any type of situation where you don't want to be doing other things while you're in battle. And another thing that I like to do is set the crossbar heart controls to mixed. Uh, instead of holding the triggers down or just tapping the triggers, you can do both at the same time. For example, I just tapped it and it holds out and then I can do a skill and tap it again to go away. Or I can hold it and press the button for the skill and then let it go and it goes away. I like this just in case whatever mood I'm in, I can do it. Other than that guys, this is the quick tutorial on how to set up your crossbar and have easier targeting in Final Fantasy XIV. If you would like to see more tutorials by us, just leave us a comment below on what you want to see and then we'll try to get to it. Alright guys, this is Jay, also known as Juicy.